Today we are on lesson 242. This day is God's. It is my gift to him. I will not lead my life alone today. I do not understand the world, and so to try to lead my life alone must be but foolishness. But there is one who knows all that is best for me, and he is glad to make no choices for me but the ones that lead to God. I give this day to him, for I would not delay my coming home, and it is he who knows the way to God. And so we give today to you. We come with holy open minds. We do not ask for anything that we may think we want. Give us what you would have received by us. You know all our desires and our wants, and you will give us everything we need in helping us to find the way to you. This day is God's. It is my gift to him.
This day is God's. It is my gift to him. So to try to lead my life alone must be but foolishness. This foolishness unfortunately characterizes our lives here in this world as bodies. Even when we think we are good students of A Course in Miracles, always asking for help, we inevitably fall back on the belief that we know what is right and wrong, best and worst for us and others. All such foolishness in one way or another involves judgment and attack. Thus, Jesus tells us here, as he does throughout his course, that we do not understand anything about the world. This is the humility he encourages us to maintain. Every student knows these oft-quoted lines, and this is from chapter 18, section 4. You are still convinced that your understanding is a powerful contribution to the truth and makes it what it is. Yet we have emphasized that you need understand nothing. And what do we need? Our Father's love. At the beginning of the song of prayer, as we recall, Jesus reminds us we want the song itself, not its fragments. We want a love that is all-inclusive, not the specifics of specialness. To attain this goal, we need to learn from our classroom of relationships everything we need and need the teacher that God gives. Thus, why the Holy Spirit does not send us these relationships, he can yet use them to teach us his lessons of forgiveness. As we recall those familiar words from the text, chapter 25, section 6, such is the Holy Spirit's kind perception of specialness, his use of what you made to heal instead of harm. This day is God's. It is my gift to him.